Hey guys! Hey guys! Oh man! We're burning our dreads tonight! <laughs> or burn my- burning our- I got- yeah, burn- We're burning our dreads, or dreads tonight. <laughs> oh man, how do you say it? Like, do we say like, uh, in this Persona context, do we just say like, burn our dread or burn our dreads? It's like- I don't know, it's just like, whatever. But how's everyone doing today? I cobbed OG no Cal. Bro, I'm putting up big ass numbers when it comes to consuming uh, media and shit, you know? So, you know, I gotta be pretty uh, thrilled about um, all that, you know? So, <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. Alright, let me get to my chat. First, I gotta tweet up the uh, live. I guess I'll do this. What's up, uh, Rock Tiger? What's up? Bro, okay. So, to, per to clarify, I caught up to the Oceanoko. I caught up to the Oceanoko anime, not the manga. So, I have to, like, so, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to start. I might wait until the end of the season, uh, until Oceanoko ends, in order to, like, uh, you know, not like what well, in order to get start getting to reading the manga. So I'll have to wait I have to wait a little bit for that. Considering that Ocean Co. I believe has four episodes remaining in the season. Considering the fact that episode one was a fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it. I, I I yeah I lowered the music a little bit. I didn't realize how bad it I didn't realize how bad it was. Yeah, I didn't- I forgot my music was a little bit too high. Sorry about that. But yeah, um... But yeah, this was, uh... This is definitely an interesting moment. For me, it's... For me, it says I'm year six and I'm first. Nice, it's pretty cool. Yeah, but, um, are you going to read the manga or the- Are you reading the manga or anime? I'm watching the anime. Well, I'm watching the anime first again, and, um... I'll probably, uh... I'll probably, um, read, um, and I'll probably read the manga once I see, once the, uh, Ocean of Code Season 1's over. That's my plan. I didn't wait, I just wait, read it for over a week. Nice. That's pretty, that's actually a pretty, pretty good accomplishment. Um, but yeah, I've consumed, I have to figure out what I'm gonna watch next, cause I could- Cause like, there's like, um, Yamada-kun from Madhouse, and I really like how Madhouse does his animation, and Yamada-kun sounds like an interesting anime that I could get into, but also there's, um, there's also, a uh, freaking Heavenly Illusion, which I heard is pretty good. I thought, I've heard people recommend, talk about Hell's Paradise and shit, and I felt like I wanted to read the manga for that because, um, I'm being very real, I, 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 it, it seems a little bit, it has, the, uh, manga seems to have a bit more, uh, stuff to it. <laughs> um, it does not matter anyway. Yeah, and, and second is Diego. JoJo's. Oh, JoJo's part two. I have thought about, that's my, that's the thing. The next a anime I want to watch is probably going to be between, like, is, is, like, is something I'm trying to decide between. And the next manga I want to read is, is something I'm still trying to figure out. Because I have a list of, like, Grand Blue, um, I don't know if I want to, I don't think I want to read Fire Force yet. Um, considering I'm a bigger fan of, like, starting with, like, the media but then again, I've had, I like start, I like starting and finishing with the media I consume something on. I don't like jumping, jumping in between shit. Although I broke that rule of fucking Blue Lock, so who knows. Maybe I might break that with Ocean Oco. That might be my thing. But yeah, what are we doing today? Um, reaction streams, uh, P4, and, uh, or Q&A or something like that and combine something like that. What, well, what, what are we doing today? But, honestly, um, could be pretty interesting to see how, uh, all that goes, you know? Could be pretty... But while uh, we're, I'm talking about that, we're talking about that, um, yeah, well, um, give me some recommendations while we're at it, because I have no idea what to read or watch next, you know, or both, to be honest. Um, so that's kind of my uh, debate right now. 
Hey, the convo is over. You were second. No. Yeah, don't. Definitely watch the part two anime. I'm the manga is like six nine chapters. If I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna consume JoJo's, I'm gonna read the manga. <laughs> six nine chapters is nothing in comparison. To like the, especially since it's a shonen manga, so it's a shonen jump manga. So that means that each chapter is like around nineteen, pe uh, pe uh, nineteen chapters a page. So it's like gonna be pretty easy to catch up to it. Um, let me put on some new music. Um, epic remix. There we go. All right. There we go. Radical Red, P4, Radical Red. Um, what? Read Welcome to Demon School, Iruma-kun. How good is that series? I have no idea how good that series is. Just for the Power Man theme and the memes. I see, I see. But can I just get that for like the... But can I just get that from the monk? Oh, whatever, whatever. Um, P4, Radical Red, Radical Red. I mean, let's see if there's a couple more votes here. Um. And I'm actually waiting. Damn, so he's gonna miss the car's uh, dubstep. Huh. Alright, um. Radical Red. How in the mood am I for Radical Red, to be honest? Um... That game still scares me. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh my god. That game still scares me. Damn, see... I mean, I, I'm I understand, like, people have, like... I mean, my thing again is just, like, I'm starting with... I was... Like, the thing with, like, the part two anime and shit, or, like, versus the part two manga again, I feel like I could finish that shit faster than, than the anime, to be honest. Because, like, again, it's, like, 69 chapters, and I and I would have to estimate, it's, like, four or five volumes that are, like, 19 pages a chapter or something like that. So it's, like, it's not a big deal to just, like, go into that, right? It's still like a generic manga be cooking up for a Rumakun. It's some generic isekai. It starts as a generic isekai. Sage, you gotta pay for pay. Alright. Um, alright. We can do this. I'm. I can do this. Um. Alright. I can do it. I can do it. Um. We, we could. If we're playing on the Pokemon theme right now, might as well get started here. Oh yeah, um... <laughs> Sorry. Um... There we go. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll play Rock or Red. We'll do that today. And there's a guy in Sol... Yeah, I've watched the room Rock or Red, baby. Alright. I'll keep this music on in the background. That way, and also we... Oh, whoops. I forgot to like, I forgot, um, wait, did I just like, no, I'm exiting, wait, I gotta exit for a quick second, I had to start a new game, I forgot about that, I have to start a new game, sorry about that, um, my bang. Alright, new game. There we go. Boy, I'm red. Yes. And I guess we'll call you green today. Do you want to play? Yes, I want to do. Yes, without any cop. Yes. Let's draw the potion. Let me grab the rare candy. Let me put in that uh, rare candy cheat. Yeah, and read the manga too. Bless you. Uh, I've been playing for the game myself. Man, this game... 
It's not. This isn't your ch typical childhood game right now. Okay, it was Woyap. It was Woyap. All right, that should put us in a good position here. All right. If y'all play Pokemon on Bounty yet, I play for the game. I really love that game. I really do. It's a really, really good game. Do you have a preference for a certain region? Um, let's pull in, um, let's pull Senno this time. And I'll go grab, um, Turtle. And I'll go grab either Infernape. Oh, wait, that's right. I gotta trigger this stupid event. I'll take Water Steel's pretty good at this at this point in the game, I feel like. Considering like it has a neutral considering that gra that steel naturally does resist gra uh resist grass, so it would just be for neutral. But honestly, um Turtwick seems like a better option here. But I like Chimchar a lot. And getting a fine type, uh now we'll go we'll go uh we'll go Turtwig. Um, I'll call you... Hmm. I'll call you Jonathan after Jonathan Joestar. No, 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 I'll call you Joestar. Yeah, 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 I'll call you Joestar. What if Naruto was trained by developer Crow? Maybe. Also, I gotta be P free P and person before going before around July 12.4, since I'll probably get Tears of the Kingdom around then and will only want to play that. Makes sense. Oh, God, I hear. I. I thought I heard Lavender Town music for a minute there. Nah, it's not there. Alright. Alright, so. Alright, so. Wait, what does this thing have? Is it a hidden ability? Self-sufficient? Are you serious? That is disgusting! What the fuck? Oh my god! What the hell was that? Yes. Where's these Pancham? Um, what time do nine encounters start? Eight. What? Alright. Radical Red needs to kind of like update a little bit. Alright. Crazy. Wait, is that a hidden ability in this game? Yeah, what the hell? Damn, that torture just turned to a JoJo reference. It did. Name your favorite server, boys. Mine's Greninja. Um, yo, what's up, Umed? Um, I haven't watched that. Uh, is that... That is crazy, though. That is actually... It is crazy how this thing got a hidden ability. Alright, we got some daytime encounters going on. Um, alright. We don't... The Nuzlocke hasn't started, though, yet. Um, let's go grab our rare candies real quick.
yeah, there we go. We'll make berries, and we'll go grab... Nelson like does not start until we get Pokeballs. So, we should be good for a while now. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can get, like, a Mianfu on this route, which would be pretty good against Brock. I don't know what to do against Faulkner, though. That's a JoJo reference, it is. Man, I'm so happy to kind of be on the Noah and JoJo references a little bit now. Uh, I'm not completely yet, but at least I know where a bunch of them started with part one. I'll have to get into part two of it when I can. Damn, I would have reset for one Shigari if I knew it could happen. Yeah, that would be pretty... Shigari is like hidden ability. I was, I'm pretty shocked I got that hidden ability too. That was actually really good. And also, yeah, the self-sufficient kind of helps out Turtwig a little bit, considering, like, it doesn't really have a, It has a few good recovery options, but not a lot of great ones. Um, we got some Pokeballs. Alright, first encounter. Mianfu. I did want that. Got it. Alright, um, Haki. Okay. We're gonna call Mianfu... I'm gonna call you Soul. After, uh, Soul Leader Evans. So we'll call you... Uh, actually, can Soul Leader fit? Can it actually fit? Ayo, hey, do y'all think that Soul Leader can fit? It can! Nice! Okay, good. Yeah, there's probably an item for that stage. When you get a yellow Pokemon named it Dio, that would be pretty that's a pretty good idea, not gonna lie. That's not a bad idea. Um, I don't need you to be honest. The fact that I can literally just do that is just ridiculously good. I really don't need Alright. Next encounter is coming up in a little bit. No, I I'm fine with I'm fine with, with what I got now. Um, what's this nature? Neutral nature? I'm fine with that. This one, I'm not. I'm gonna regenerate those really good. I'm gonna, like, switch... Let's change your nature, however. Adamant probably is the best nature for you. There we go. That should deal... That should allow for max damage. Um, after that, uh... I need to go talk to this guy. Also, remember, you gotta battle beat Faulkner. I know, I know. I gotta, like... I think right as of right now, I. Oh wait a minute! I feel I think um the key would would be here because I believe I can get a lantern here. Also, let me just use some of the hurricanes to just like. All right. Um. Register. We're gonna sacrifice. Damn it! It's just a Meryl. Oh, but actually, it could be good. It could be good. Got it. Um, alright, so Meryl will have... I'm gonna... I'ma call you Kazuma after uh, the protagonist from Konosuba. Haven't gotten into that anime yet, but uh, I do know some of the uh, his characters a little bit. We're gonna call you Kazuma. I could have called. I could have. If uh, this Meryl was a girl, I would have called uh, her Aqua, though. Oh wait, I could have done the same thing though, because I already I did watch Oceanoko. Fuck. I could have. I could have called. Bluford. Um. All right. Let's see what. Let's see what you got. Bubble. Sacrifice. I'll take out Water Sport. Huge power! Okay, this seems useful. As hell. I wonder though if, like, yeah, we probably should. We're gonna make this thing a bit of a physical attacker, so we should probably. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to, like. Alright, um. Nature change? I don't think speed really means much. We need to go with the adamant. Concerning that we do have huge power. What are you playing? Radical Red. Radical Red. Um, after that, we gotta go into these, into this area, and then we can fish ourselves up a, uh, an Armand. Tentacruel, rule, baby. Self-sufficient again. Um, and after that, Pokeball. Come on. There we go. Tentacruel acquired. Um, Tentacruel is... 
Okay. What do we call this? Um... Bro, the Ivies are ass, probably, but I like the ability. Plus, there are ways to kind of get around that a little bit in this game. The main thing that we do have to worry about is just, like, make sure... Also, at this point in the game, it's not terrible, though. Well, it, once it gets to, like, really big frets, though, it's going to be a bit of a problem with some of the IVs. Um... What do I call you? You know what? I'll call you Ruby. You're gonna you're gonna be known as Ruby. Although I don't know how much how how much Ruby would like to be called a freaking ten of ten of <laughs> a freaking jellyfish. Like not like real talk. Like I don't know how much Ruby would like the fact that I, that. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so we got Tichi TV, we got um, another item here. Alright, here, let's hopefully get something that can deal with Faulkner. Sandy Gas? I don't have any grass side moves, do I? Okay, maybe I can... Okay, there we go. Alright, we got Sandy Gas now. Bro, the I named it According to the lore, Tenor does have a... What? A ruby on its head. Wow, okay, that's actually not... That's Oh, yeah, 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 that, you're right. Okay, so ruby actually kind of works here. Um, Sandy Gas. I'm gonna call you... I could just call you Aquamarine, but I don't know if Aquamarine fits. How about, um... Okay, there's Ichigo. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I got, I got it, I got it. We're gonna call you Kenpachi. Oh, wait, I could have also called a Gara, too. Eh, whatever. Eh, Gara's not really a ghost, though. Name a Gara? I, I just realized I could have named a Gara. Fuck. But then again, Gara isn't really a ghost. Well, he's not dead, at least. <laughs> or, though, no, maybe that could change. Who knows? Um, alright. Let's, uh... Alright, we got a massive advantage over our rival now. The thing that I have to do in this battle is I need to, like, prepare for Brock while also preparing for fucking Faulkner. That is the most annoying part about this battle. It's literally, I have to prepare for two fights. But I think I got some pretty good encounters here that can accomplish that. Man. Dude. Oh, rollout. Um, rollout strats? Yeah, sure, why not? Will o Wisp. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, we definitely need that. We're gonna replace Harden with that. Okay, that is a real, really big pickup. So not, not gonna lie, really big pickups. I think we're gonna have Cosmo lead. Bro, y'all saw what freaking, um, Meryl did. <laughs> Holy crap. It just ran over... Canis will get your EVs nowhere. Not if I just train them up and, s and shit afterwards. But the thing is, though, I, like, I want to get to level cap quickly. Not gonna lie. Hmm, maybe you could try and go for defense. Yeah, I think so. I agree. That might actually be the move. Because, like, I don't have a great, ro a great resist right now, so I think the best option... It's something that can that at least doesn't die to it, you know. Well, 
Like, my god, though. That was just disgustingly efficient, to be honest. That was just really disgustingly efficient. Um, we're gonna... Okay, we got the deck snap, too. Okay. Alright, now we need to pick up something new here. Fan P? I guess. Um. Come on. There we go. We got Fan P now. Fan P's on the team. Um. Your speed wagon. I'm so happy to kind of know like a lot of these some a bunch of these like JoJo references nowadays. I'm so glad I started reading JoJo's a little bit back. God. Um. Definitely think that like Valal Stress might be my best bet against uh, Faulkner. Oh my God. Ice Shard two. Easy freaking. Oh man, it's over. I think it's over. I think it might be over. Rapid spin is hard to get rid of though, not gonna lie. Baruta. Speedwagon best waifu, definitely agree. Um, rapid spin or flail? I don't know how like the defense code wall strats would be pretty decent to be honest. I honestly, and I'll, the rapid spin is something that, oh god, um, I don't think I need to worry about hazards for now, to be honest, so I'm gonna forget this right now. I'm gonna, I need to prepare for fall first before I prepare for the rock. Alright, next, up on, next encounter, next one. Scatterbug. Probably should start just throwing Pokeballs, to be honest. Scatterbug. Is this a Nuzlocke? It is. Yep, it is. Um, I'm gonna call you... What's a good name? Oh. Hmm. There's like mob, there's like this one, um, ah, yeah, yeah, this is a tough one, this is not gonna lie, you, you know, actually, I, I got it, I got it, we're gonna call you Zapelli, we're gonna call you Zapelli, after, uh, Baron Zapelli from, uh, JoJo's, yeah, I could not fit. Yeah, I definitely could not fit on... Um... I might want to switch out. I think I want to switch out my mods for a second because... I'm very concerned about one of the fights. I just real the metronome trainer is just way too like it's just a freaking beast on its own. I don't think Sandy Gas is gonna be like too great against that. So I need to prepare for I got sweet pop. You know, at this point, you know what? At this point, I want to at least just get Blake out of here. I want to make sure I can get. We, we're not at the level cap yet, and also it's just auto, it's automatic regardless. So I can just like use. So I can just like get this thing up to level cap if I want to. Um, not now. I want to learn it, but I want to learn magnitude, but not now. Toxic Spikes is pretty good. A lot better than Super Sonic in my opinion. Yeah, let's get up to the level cap and just and just whoop on. 
Lock Tomb is really good. A lot better than Pound too, which is nice. Fake Out. I like Meditate a little bit. I do like Force Bomb. I don't know if Fake Out is gonna is gonna work. It's I don't think Fake Out is worth it here. At least at this point in the battle. Covet. Um. Very tight move. Oh, easily, easy, 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 easy dub. Body slam already? Are you serious? If you get Drillbird, can you name it Drilldo? Push question was one Shino, bruh. Say Sage, if you could get Drillbert, yo, I heard you, bro. I heard you watch episode seven of my of, my, of Ocean of Co. Did you like that the ending of that episode? Yeah, I did. I, I did. Um. It may leave the foe paralyzed. Bodies. This is a tough one. Not now though. I don't think I should do it now. I need to like. I need. I need my rollout stress for now. I can relearn the moves regardless, so it, I, it's not a too big of a deal. But yeah, we're gonna whoop um a bunch of these uh, little kids' ass um in this battle uh, with our uh, team right now. All right, start here. Razor Leaf. Bye bye. Um, go to Zapelli. Go to Air Cutter. Goodbye. Thank you for the XP share, and we're good. After that, we can just like start. After that, let's just blaze for this tra for these trainers. To be honest. Like, I'm not messing around here. I don't want to deal with any of the bullshit. We're always playing boss music in the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I am. Definitely. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Alright, again, being very real here, this is one of the tougher trainers here, as you can, like, see here. She has a metronome team, and it's a fucking annoying one, too. Honestly, there, I feel like I might have to spam strong attacks again. Got pretty lucky on that metronome shit. God, I really, really do not like dealing with this shit at all. Lunar Dance. Thank you, Meryl. Holy crap. That tr I tell I keep telling y'all that trainer's a piece of work. Ah shit! I forgot the Pokeball. Let me go back. I gotta backtrack again. I knew I was forgetting something. Kana best girl. Um, it's Akane. I'm sorry, it's Akane. English translation. Hey, do you have a Pokemon called Caesar? Because I know it's fate. Oh my god. Yo, bro, what's your opinion on Sarda's uh Monkey Awakening? Pretty uh interesting uh awakening, uh, in my opinion. Um we're not gonna see the full fruits of it when um we uh make it for a while because I can't be a to so on my ace, but um it's gonna be interesting to see how that kinda unfolds, to be honest. Um, alright, we got another 20 balls, and we're gonna go back to this. Yes,
easy, easy, easy. Should I watch Ocean of Co? I'm trying to get into it. It's real, is it really good? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Watch it. Watch it. Oh my god, dude, bro, you're you're missing out on freaking peak fiction right now. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's real. Well, uh, it's really good. It's really good. It, it's probably one of the better animes of, of the season, to be honest. Um. Too easy. Um. This is still route two right here. All right, so our next encounter here is going to be in the in the tunnel and right in Pure City. Okay, so we can get some more tools to fight Brock, which is or I'm not I'm not Brock, uh, Faulkner. I have to worry about Faulkner before I fight Brock. That's so annoying. Um, all right, so Pelly, give me okay, nose pass, not bad. All right, get in the super volume for thing. Um, okay, um, we're gonna call you Mario. It's a me, Mario! You would not be useful in the. Thank god I got a nose pass. I, I, that's kind of my bank on this entire thing. Alright. Not played this for a while. But I need, but I feel like I remember a bunch of shit. Like the fact that I do think I need to keep get this thing into into the battle, but um I don't need you at all. I, I definitely don't. And I definitely don't think I should play in Turtwick. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um actually block is pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna Thunder Wave. I think that's better than Rock Plus, to be honest. Alright. So if that's the case, we should be good there. And if this is the case, and if that's the case, um, after that, we're sure we're probably busy with something. Who knows? I dropped my star after waiting for it to get complicated. Waiting for it to get completed, then gonna binge it. Okay. I see. Yeah, I'm the same. I usually am the same way. I don't like, um, I don't like having to wait a week for something. <sighs> right? It, it, but here's my thing. Comparatively speaking, man, oh my god. I for, I've been watching this freaking East guy called, um, the cheat, um, I, cheat skill and another, I gained, I gained a cheat skill in another world and then became unrivaled in the real, in the real one. It's like, Oh my god, the budget just keeps getting worse for that anime, to be honest. It's it's in a category right now with of, of its, like, it's so ridiculous that it's actually pretty good, but there's just a lot of wasted, um, I think, potential here, because I really am getting, um, a little bit tired of certain things. And the problem is, I really like the idea of, like, a, 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 an East Capital Attack and an Unstory Diner shit, but getting, like, access to, um, certain powers in another world without having to, like, die or some shit and kind of and it's the, the concept i feel like is really good you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna call you uh jesse jesse james team rocket blasting off at the speed of light surrender now prepare to fight let's see um Honestly, Aachen and Connor are pretty equal for me as a manga reader. That makes sense. I, I have not seen... For me right now in the anime, I kind of have a bit more of a higher pain on um, on um, Aachen right now. 
Shed Skin. It has high speed, it can use rap and poison stain. What else can it get at a higher enough at a high enough level? Let me take you. Cosmo's gonna be pretty useful. This is probably gonna be one of my main stars of the battle is Lomacong um Bambi. We got a lot of win conditions here, I think. Fight. Glare! Okay, that's huge. I don't need rap. I need to get glare going. And then on top of that, poison tail. That is huge. Okay. Alright. I think I have a good strategy here, not gonna lie. If I can last like, one time and reduce the speed. Hey, Super didn't die to get his powers until he did. Again, and again, and again. Oh, boy. The faintness is, though, like, the at 11 episodes, it makes sense considering the fact that they poured a lot of budget into, like, season one. Honestly, kind of, it's honestly, in the first place, they probably would have been better off just, like, not having, they, it probably, they probably would have had, like, um, season one and shit, <laughs> and that, like, well, like four less episodes, so like season, at eight episodes. But no, they're like giving us like extra content and shit for season one. So honestly, they're do honestly. Um, I've been pretty impressed with the job that's been done, but over by uh, who the fuck's animating that the show right now? But the animators that of uh, Ocean of Color are doing a really damn good job. I am not putting you in the battlefield, but I will take your Wormberry. Um, this battle is going to be pretty big, concerning the fact that, but yeah, I also should probably not bring in Vivian, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? Sandy Gas is probably going to be a bit more useful for this battle. I have a bunch, a lot of Faulkner's attackers are physical. This is a better compromise to deal with that, to be honest. All right, what I need to deal with is, um, it probably could, to me, it seems like an awkward spot, to be honest. Have any of you read a mama called Mythic Item Obtained? Not yet, not yet. Um, I've been looking up, oh yeah, another mama I've been looking up, looking to read are Loving Up With The Gods and, um, Doom Breaker. I feel like those are two very good mangas, and, uh, uh, not manga, manhua, manhua. That, um, oh yeah, why would I bring in freaking, uh, why would I bring in, um, Solator for first battle too? I mean, actually, it has Rock Tomb, so honestly, and it's one of the few Pokemon that could probably outspeed a bunch of these mons, to be honest. Yeah, it's one of my faster mons on the team. So yeah, I think, honestly, it's not a bad idea, to be honest. And I, I, I could be a finisher, so yeah, we'll bring it, we'll bring it on. Cosmos probably. We're gonna leave with, with either Kenpachi or. I think Kenpachi would be slightly better, because honestly. Wait. What's a little bit more reliable? Yeah, I think Lair's better as a strategy. I think Paralysis is just a better idea in comparison. Then again, that doesn't stop, um. Then again, it doesn't stop uh, the hard hits. All it does is just slow that stupid bird down. And I can't really get any setup going, so I need to rely on Lola's stra strategies. Wish me luck, boys. Let's see, I think I got a decent amount of moves ready. I need to rely on I need to rely on on Lola's more than I need to rely upon them. Um, Alright. Okay, let's pray to the gods of Lola's pits here. There we go, it did, it connected. Alright, um, now we can start setting up here. Wait, shit. It's not working. Why? Why does that aerial still hit hard? Wait, 
Wait, it, it did like 18. Man, I'm actually one attack away again. What the hell? Damn it, I'm literally not in a good position right now. Rock smash, switch, bye bye. Oh boy. There we go, connected. Alright. Um. Shit though. We're not in a good spot right now, considering that it just set up two home claws in my face. It might try to get back to normal though, so like, um. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Um. Doombreaker is fire. I just finished the whole thing yesterday. Yo, really? Is it really that good? Interesting. Um. Alright, what I need to do now is I need, um. I need to put Jesse out. No. What I really need to do is I need to, like, I need to use Fampy next. That did 16. Let's start rollouts now. Oh boy. Yo, we got past it! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh my god! We got, we got past fucking Faulkner. Zero devs. Zero fucking devs. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got past him. We got past him. Who's your favorite anime character? At this point, I'm, I think it might be Natsuki Subaru. <laughs> A ghost in sand type called Kampachi. Yep. I heard the last season of Game of Thrones is bad or something. I, I, I've heard that too. I haven't, I haven't really watched it. I haven't watched Game of Thrones. I've been, I'm more of a Breaking Bad guy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did fucking did that shit. Oh god, that was really, really just that feel. This feels so cathartic, man. Oh my god, this just feels so cathartic. Just shut these mons down. Oh my god. I really just like. I really just smacked Faulkner back after getting stuff I am the first time. I had a really good strategy going into this and I, I'm pretty happy that it worked out. Alright, now is another problem because I think the, next, the first Pokemon that's going to come out is Dew Dude. Kempachi's probably the best matchup to deal with that, so I can probably go with the Wolves. But the problem then becomes like, what will he send out if he. I'm worried that there could be a possibility of a switch in those too. I cannot put in like... Sleep pause, yeah. Okay, um... This is Brock. This is gonna be Brock, boys. Let's delete- let's move this church with. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's really bad. Um... Awkward at easy money. Awkward at easy money. Cool. Alright. We did it. We did it. Okay. That's- we're good. Okay. Rock is our main is our main opponent here. Okay, so um, 
what do we do here is the question. We can't lead lead off with into Kenpachi would be pretty would be the best idea. After bro, that that is not what I said. Yo Sage, level your Pokemon up. I think the cap increased. No, it did not. It did, it did not. <laughs> um, all right. Plus, I didn't. I wouldn't want to break level cap anyways. Um, level 15, boys. Kenpachi is are gonna be our lead. Oh no, this is actually he has four. Oh yeah, he has Arcan. Shit. Oh wait, we have accounted for that. Okay. Um. All right. What do I do here? Do I attack? Can easily switch. Got it. Okay. We got it. We hit an rule this one at Arkin. Okay. Now what we have to do is that we now have to, um, this thing could probably go for like a bulldoze, but I don't think that would be do enough. That did hit. I know that there's an earthquake coming. I don't know if I can, t I think I can take that, to be honest, with how high Nose Pass's defenses are. I need to reduce this thing's speed. That did 16. I feel like one more hit could take us down, to be honest. But I don't... I don't have a safer switch in, to be honest. We did, we've reduced this thing's speed twice, I believe. We've reduced it twice. So, I'm pretty sure Josar should have the advantage here. gonna go for a pluck. I almost had that thing too. Um, it went for roost. Interesting. Aqua Jet. It went into the Fetus range. Literally none of that ends up mattering. No priority. So I just got, I got our first gym badge, and all it cost me was a fucking nose pass. Boys, RIP the Mario. The reason why it lost is because it did not have the power of God anime on its side, but it served us well. It took, it willed down after Super Onyx, and it helped out in the end. dead now. This is our dead box. Alright, moving forward, we're gonna have Ruby. We'll go with Satelli. Our next encounter, Dynamax Band, that's huge. And Wish Pieces, oh god. Alright, we're gonna like, grab our next encounter here. So we're gonna have some Pelly do some shit. Nidoran, okay. Focus Energy. Um, see, um, okay, Nidoran, we're gonna call you, I don't know what we can call you, well you're a king usually, so the best thing I can think of is just like, who's a good example of like, Whereas, like, if they're that, you, oh, wait a minute, I, I know what to call you. I know the perfect king.
There we go. Alright. That's our next encounter. Um... Not gonna lie, we're doing pretty well so far. Honestly though, I feel like my next concern is to just like, get to the next level cap, to be honest. Because... It's just me or Nars who completely lost this track during the final saga. Mmm... Not really. I feel like there were some problems with it, but I feel like the work was really good. Honestly, Kagu wasn't really a great attack, but Naruto had like a lot of good moments in that entire arc, so just like, Obito kind of like, Obito sacrificed, Kakashi getting DMS. Um, there were a lot of great moments within that arc. I don't think it really lost its, its uh, track at all. Um, the one place where I, where I would always say that Naruto completely kind of lost itself a little bit, a bit was like during the uh, beginning parts of the after the time skip because if you were like if you remember how like Naruto was um starting in part one he was like learning these juices like the Rasengan in like a week or at most a month based on how long he was trying to get for the first few steps of Rasengan and then on top of that you had like um and then on top of that you had him learn like the summoning technique in a month so, like, then it becomes a bit, like, inexcusable that Naruto doesn't learn even more than that in comparison. Because if his rate is at, is at that point as a child, then as, you, as you're going into your prime and train exclusively for three years, based on what Jirai was saying, then theoretically he should be at a very high, um, at a much higher point in comparison to what he was during the time skip. But that's not what happened. What ends up happening is that Naruto comes back with a big Rasengan, and he can sort of break for Genjutsu, but not really, even against a Furbercent clone. Which is completely ridiculous in my opinion. Again, I love the Kazakai Rust Commission based off like a lot of the greater moments in that arc. But like there were the minor nitpicks that but the problems that were presented in that arc got festered into the Tension Bridge arc, which I will always say is objectively the worst arc in all of Naruto. It's not even close in my opinion. I feel like the Tension Bridge arc has some good moments and shit, like as well, but there's like a lot more problems with it than, than I think that than I think uh, that there's a lot more problems with it than I think uh, you know positives about it. <clears throat> Y'all ever think about if Kage wasn't released during the War Scenario, would have intentionally released her during the last, possibly, what if un I mean unintentionally? During time skip, Naruto should have either learned ceiling, stage one, or some wind release. Wind release, I feel like, would have been a better solution. Like, I here's my thing. Why the hell is Sasuke going to, like, grab, like, is, why the hell is Sasuke, like, learning, like, I feel like even without clones, Naruto could have easily gone into, like, the nature transformations pretty easily. Again, if we're looking at how his progress was, I know people talk about, like, ninjas, like, taking their time to master that shit, but... Naruto has kind of shown that he's a bit more of an exception to the rule. I mean, like, for God's sake, the next generation is supposed to always surpass the last. And the other thing is, like, um, Naruto is, like, learning these, like, a rank techniques, like the Shadow Clones, like the multi Shadow Clones, when the fucking around Sangam within a, a very good amount of time. So why can't he get started on fucking win release, like, in, during a time skip? If I was to, like, do that... Someone has more failed potential than Rock Lee. I don't think Rock Lee has that much failed potential. Has that much failed potential, even if we want to like art. I don't think that. I feel like if we're like giving like Rock Lee the same treatment as Guy, Rock Lee would essentially be like in Guy's place, where he's just essentially now crippled. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I I do think that Rock Lee could have had more moments, but I feel like the waste of potential and the ceiling of Rock Lee is not as high as people want to expect it to be. And I would, even as someone who does, I like Guy though a lot. I do like Guy, but I think a lot of Team Guy, I feel like they if we're going to name someone with a lot of waste potential, it's the Uzumaki clan and it's freaking um, the Yuka clan, I think. Um, I feel like if there's going to be a lot more, t I feel like in Boruto, there should be a lot more moments to like explore the um, issues with the Uzumaki clan a little bit more, which I forget if there if there has been a lot more of that explored not really but the Uzumaki clan were supposed to be like fear for their ceiling and shit and yet no now by the way I'm not gonna be the person that's always gonna go around and say that like I'm not always the person that's going to be like um 
you know, all these like contrivances and shit, like make a bat, make it a bat, ser make an arch a bat series. Far from it. I feel like that there are certain ways, maybe potentially something like let's say Soul Eater, like seeing Maka's mother, but I don't consider Soul Eater a bad series. In fact, I really like the manga a lot. But my thing is that like as someone who's passionate about the series. There are like a bunch of things I would have liked to have seen addressed in the series that would have made things like, oh boy, you know, I would have liked to see that shit cook up some more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we do have the light now a little bit, but there isn't, it's, I don't think he was, he's my complaint, I believe, has not been really addressed there either. So it's a little bit disappointing, disappointing to be honest. Sagra had more waste potential than Lee. I completely agree with that. If we're trying to be honest, I completely agree with that. I feel like with the direction of her character, it was there's it's fine. I mean, like her having the Biakugo seal, being like pretty efficient as a Malcolm Ninja, and being a strong and being as strong as she is, I you would think that like okay, Sakura's really progressed well. But then there's like, but the problem then becomes like, okay, where is this Genjutsu potential that she had at one point? Where is it? What about any, like, other techniques? I don't like how, like, um, particularly... I know why Naruto kind of went this route wearing a couple techniques, because as an offer or some shit, it's hard to, like, keep track of, like, every single legitimate technique that you have in your pocket. And then if and then there's a technique that probably serves in a battle, and you're trying to write something, you're like, why didn't the X character use this? Why didn't X character use that? I mean, hell, we, pe we people have literally gone for, like, we've literally gone for, like, the fact that, like, why didn't anyone tell Norris about the Shadow trick before to, the, to this day? And we still literally, it's, as an offer, it gets very hard to track this shit sometimes. Although for me, um... And sometimes it, it, you can kind of get back into a corner. So I understand why why there's like a, not a large variety of techniques, but like in a ninja world, I feel like there has to be a little bit more variety to what you're using and shit. Especially with someone like even Kakashi, who is said to like, who's had who has copied over a thousand jutsus. <laughs> Sakura should have learned like stage mode thoughts. We haven't really seen that shit. Um, fully in action, but honestly, I would have seen, I would have liked to have seen a slug stage mode, to be honest. I would have liked to have seen that. Um. Also, KCM should have never existed. It completely goes against prior stuff in the series, and the cloak would have worked just as well. Nah, I love to KCM. You're not taking that shit away from me. <laughs> KCM's awesome. Get fuck off of that. It's like, it's uh, it's such a clean, even if, I, even if you want to make that argument, I, it's just such a clean form that I could hardly care less. Plus, if there's anyone, any, like, tail beast that, like, should you that ability or some shit, it should be the nine tails, the strong for the do. <laughs> well, after playing Chakra Tug of War. <laughs> Honestly, if Kishimoto wasn't all about, I gotta recreate the Sani, Naruto have learned more in the time skip. Bro, if he actually wanted to recreate the Sani and shit, like, he would have actually had them learn more shit, to be honest. Because, honestly, like, yeah, you can recreate the Sani and shit, but you also should have, like, more variety to yourself as a ninja. Because, like, yeah, Tsunami is more known for, like, like, cause like, I'm like, like even Kishimoto like fell in that regard because Jiraiya had some elemental techniques like the toe bombs and fire cell and shit going for him. Well, Naruto didn't have shit going for him until he got the Rasing, until he got the Rasen Shuriken during during the Akatsuki suppression mission. Yeah, um, alright, we've been debating, I've been debating this for a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna